Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on this fresh spring makeup look inspired by the absolutely gorgeous Lily James who has just starred in the new Disney movie Cinderella. I went to go see the movie Cinderella the other day and I absolutely adored it. I absolutely love Lily James. I love her in Downton Abbey, which if you don't know what Downton Abbey is, it's a kind of British drama TV show that is currently set in the 1920s but I absolutely adored her throughout the whole film and so I googled her makeup from all of the amazing premiere pictures of her for Cinderella and this is the picture that I came across that I wanted to do an inspired look for you guys. I think it's so fresh and so beautiful for spring, a really kind of just glowy, simple, fresh makeup look that would be ideal for spring. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to be starting off with the Simple Kind of Skin Illuminating Radiance Cream. In the picture she hasn't necessarily got a particular like dewiness, but she has got a kind of very very subtle radiant glow. So I bought this yesterday and I thought this would be really good to kind of try out and do a bit of a first impression on. So I'm just applying this all over my face. I haven't tried it out on my face yet. I bought it in Superdrug yesterday and it caught my attention. I tried it on the back of my hand. And it was really really nice, it just kind of gave a, a subtle glow. Now I'm going to go in with Benefit Professional, this is just a mini tester. But I'm going to apply this to around my nose because my face is being very sassy at the minute. And I've got extra large pores than usual, which is rather annoying. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation and I'm going to be using this on a little beauty sponge. This foundation is kind of slightly matte but not completely matte which is why I'm going to use it. And I'm just going to start by applying it across my cheeks. So I went to go and see the movie Cinderella the other day and I absolutely loved it, I thought it was absolutely amazing. My favourite part was of course for me the amazing blue dress that I've now decided that I'm going to model my wedding dress on. I'm not getting married but that is what my wedding dress is going to be like. I went with my boyfriend to the cinema, we got out and as soon as we got out I was like that blue dress is going to be my wedding dress. If you guys have seen the film let me know what you thought of it because I, as I said, absolutely adored it but I'm quite biased because I love everything Disney related, absolutely amazing and Cinderella is my favourite Disney princess so I just absolutely adored it and the film was, it stayed true to the kind of Disney version of Cinderella which I really really liked but the prince kind of had a bit more involvement which was good like she didn't just kind of meet him and then you know so I really enjoyed that kind of aspect of it. I really liked the fact that it was very very simple as well like it's such a simple story and they didn't try to make it anything bigger and I think that's maybe why some people might not enjoy it as much but because it is literally the simple story of Cinderella and it is, I'd probably say it is a kids film like me and my boyfriend were discussing it afterwards and we were kind of speaking about how Maleficent that came out recently, the Sleeping Beauty kind of story, how that kind of was more of a like a fantasy, had a bit more action to it so I think a wider range of people could enjoy it whereas this was a more child friendly, very very simple but amazing version of Cinderella. Next I'm going to use the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and I think this is the kind of shade like warm beige or something, I don't know my name's rubbed off. But I'm just applying this under my eyes to conceal any dark circles and also to slightly highlight under the area as well because Lily James isn't wearing, or from what I can see, any highlighter on her face but under her eyes it does look quite bright and then I'm just gonna pack this in using my beauty blender and now I'm just gonna set that concealer in place with the collection sheer loose powder I 
Okay, so I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup before I do my eyes. And I'm going to do a tiny, tiny bit of bronzing. On the picture, it doesn't look like she's got any contour on. However, I can see a little bit of warmthness towards the back of her cheeks. And she's got quite a defined jawline as well. So I'm going to be using the Collection Mosaic Glow Bronzer on a Real Techniques Multitask Brush. So I'm just taking this ever so slightly on the backs of my cheeks and then down under my jawline as well because she has got quite a defined jawline. This is a really good bronzer because it's not too dark, it's got some different shades in it so it's not going to come off too bronzy, it's just going to give a tiny bit of a shadow towards the back of the face. The blush is very pink and rosy and fresh so I'm going to mix two blushes together and the first one is the Nikka K New York blush in the shade, I think it's Romantic, and then I'm also going to take a pink blush from the Makeup Revolution Blush and Contour Palette in the shade Hot Spice. So I'm just going to start with the Nick K blush and see how that goes. I'm taking this on a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to apply it to kind of the apples of my cheeks and slightly back as well. Now I'm just going to take my makeup sponge and just press over the top of that just to make sure we've got no harsh lines and now I am going to take this shade here from the Hot Spice Makeup Revolution palette and I'm going to kind of concentrate that on kind of like the apples of the cheeks but slightly underneath just to kind of lift the face a tiny bit And that is pretty much it for the face makeup, so I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to go back with that Collection Mosaic Glow Bronzer and I'm just going to take a tiny amount of that through my crease. This is just on kind of like an angled eyeshadow brush. I'm going to take a mix of the three colours and really, really lightly just pop that kind of slightly above my crease but slightly below my brow bone. in the picture Lily's makeup is quite high like her lid the colour on her lid extends up quite high and I think that might be because she seems to have slightly hooded eyes which I do as well so they seem to have extended her eye makeup upwards to give the appearance of lift to her eyes on the pictures I can see that Lily has got some kind of silver eyeshadow on her lids and then over top is kind of like a gorgeous shimmery slightly champagne colour so first I'm going to take this unique pigment in the shade feisty and I'm going to take this all over my lids and I'm also going to apply a slight bit of fixed blush to my brush as well just so the colour is really pigmented so I'm just going to take this all the way across my lid and I'm taking this on a Real Techniques face shadow brush Next I'm going to take this Laura Geller eyeshadow duo and it is in the shade Firewater and I'm going to take this top champagne cream shade here and I'm going to do the same again, apply some Fix Plus and then apply it all over my lid but this time I'm going to extend it up slightly as well. Okay, so my camera didn't record when I did my first eye with eyeliner, but I have taken the Supercat Black Eyeliner Pen by Soap and Glory. I'm going to do a winged eyeliner and I'm going to take it from where my inner eyelashes start and I'm going to do a slight wing towards the outer corner of my eye as well. I'm now going to work on my lower lash line and in the picture I can see that she has a slightly gold coppery shadow on the outside of her eye and then she brings that champagne colour just on the inside of her eye as well. So I'm going to take a liner brush for my copper shade and the shade that I'm taking is just from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Favourites palette and I'm just going to take this on the outer half of my lower lash line. And then I'm going to take the Laura Gellert Champagne shade on a Sigma E30 pencil brush and I'm going to run that under the first half of my lower lash line. Thank you. 
I'm now going to apply some mascara to my upper and lower lashes and this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. I absolutely adore this makeup look. As soon as I saw it, I found all my images on Google. I just basically typed in Lily James makeup and it came up with so many beautiful photos of all the lovely makeup and dresses that she wore to all the premieres for Cinderella. And I just saw this one and I thought it was an absolutely beautiful, simple makeup look. A lot of the makeup that she wears is very, very simple, which I absolutely love because she's not going over the top, it's not too dramatic, and especially for something like Cinderella, it's very fresh, pretty. And so I just knew that I wanted to do a tutorial on this. I'm now going to apply some false lashes and these are the Red Cherry number 43s. To complete this look I'm going to go in with two lip products. The first is a Maybelline Colour Sensational lipstick in the shade Shocking Coral and the second is a Rimmel Colour Brush lip balm in the shade Make Me Blush. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Shocking Coral one first. I'm going to use a lip brush because this is a very, very vibrant, vibrant, vibrant coral colour. And all I want to do is add a slight pink sheen to my lips. And now I'm going to go over with the Colour Brush Lip Balm. I'm just going to dot this on my lips and then even it out with the lip brush. Finally, I'm just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus to set all of my makeup in place. And here is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, please subscribe to my channel as well if you aren't already. Let me know what you guys thought of this Lily James spring inspired fresh makeup look, I would love to know. And of course, let me know your thoughts on the movie as well because I absolutely adore it, but I would love to know what everyone else thinks as well. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!